Top 10 Character Presets in Tower Fantasy Tower Fantasy is all the rage right now. It's what everyone is talking about ever since it was released. What makes this open world MMORPG game fun? We could talk about how you can ride around with a jetpack or we could just talk about what really matters. Their epic character customization. People like having the ability to make a character however he want with little to no restrictions. That's why Tower Fantasy is the most talk about currently because people all over are sharing their favorite presets. Here are the top 10 best character presets in Tower Fantasy and how to get them. Best character presets in Tower Fantasy Did you know you can make just about anyone in Tower Fantasy? It's not hard with how easy it is to customize. Have you ever wanted to craft a Genshin Impact character? What about someone from your Automata? You can do that here. Players all over are sharing their unique presets and players are eating them up. We've seen some great canon characters from other franchises and we've seen some nice looking original designs. If you're a fan of cosplay and want to immerse your favorite game into Tower Fantasy, now you can. It's rumored that Tower Fantasy is the MMO that's supposed to become major competition towards Genshin Impact. The familiar gacha system, the open world vibes, and the cute characters that you meet reminds us of our beloved games. Now, you can add some favorite to your gameplay. Want to have Ember follow an NPC around? Do you miss playing Zhongli? Here are some cool Tower Fantasy characters presets if you're a loyal Genshin fan and want to add a little spice to the game. Comes in in number 2, Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku, is that you? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be on stage singing your latest hits? A talented player decided to add a beloved vocaloid to the game. Hatsune Miku is looking as cute as ever with her iconic hair and clothes. With Hatsune out on the run, players have found ways to make their favorite anime characters, video game characters, and vocaloids. Comes in in number 3, Raiden Mei. Fans of Honkai Impact 3rd will love this design of Raiden Mei. The daughter of Raiden Ryoma is a beloved character and fans didn't waste time implementing her in the game. Her eyes, hair, and uniform complement her character perfectly. She's not the only character players are trying to recreate from Mocha Impact 3rd. Other character design inspired are Kevin Cassiana, Kiana Cassiana, Kimeko, and many more. Comes in number 4 is Hazel. Remember when we said Edge Impact is rumored to have some competition? It looks like what we meant to say is that Genshin Impact has competition in terms of how many players will transition from Genshin to Tower Fantasy. We keep seeing influx of character presets that remind us of our beloved Genshin Impact characters. Hazel has crossed our screen in Tower Fantasy and now you can add him as your favorite Tower Fantasy character preset. Number 5 will be Hisoka. Hisoka, what in the world are you doing here? Gone is not here. If you're looking for him, he's hanging out somewhere with Kilwa. Hunter x Hunter fans will either hate or adore this preset of Hisoka. The most hated and beloved character from the franchise is making his debut in the game. Hopefully, Hisoka doesn't make things awkward with other players. If you want to add him to your Tower Fantasy characters presets, we wish you all the luck. Comes in number 6 is Tubi. We had a feeling that Nier Automata will be one of the characters that will make an appearance. With heavy elements of futuristic gameplay, from jetpack to robots, we figured it would make sense to include Tubi. She's sporting her signature bandana over her eye and is currently the second most popular top fantasy character preset in the preset market. Comes in number 7 is Sasuke. Yes, there's Sasuke. We believe we also saw Naruto running around. Could have been our imagination, but seriously, Sasuke is there. Brooding as usual, his trademark black hair, red eyes, and bandana are there too. He's a, he's a real deal. You can have him if you want him. Fans of Naruto will definitely be using him when running around the world. You can too. Comes in number 8 is Himiko Toga. The bloodthirsty fan favorite from My Hero Academia is not finished with us. She left the MHA world and ventured to Tower Fantasy. She may appear to be good protagonist, however, don't let looks deceive you. She's still the same Himiko from the franchise. 
This play kept her aesthetic but took away her craving for blood. Needles are gone. Space burns are still there. She is also missing her iconic schoolgirl outfit, but that's okay. Come scene number 9 is Nezuko Kamado. She looks so cute. Demon Slayer is now part of the Tao fantasy. Now we have Nezuko Kamada, the sister and demon of protagonist Tanjiro. Nezuko isn't sporting her usual kimono, but she is wearing futuristic morning attire. Crop top, shorts, and fancy stickers to get her where she needs to be. Clearly, this is the future Nezuko, and she's been living out this time due to being immortal. She doesn't eat humans still, and wears a cover over her mouth. It's better than a giant box. Come scene number 10 is me. It is wrong to add our princess on the list. Perhaps, but we love her too much. The cute pink overlord, pink on pink, with a slight blonde ombre in the pigtails. It's Chef Kiss. We also thought the cute hat decal just looked perfect to give her a tiny bit of eagle aesthetic. Can we also take note of the giant pink eyes and hard edge into the pupils? This is the best preset, just kidding. What we love about Tower Fantasy is that yes, you can create presets of other characters, but adding your own original character is an experience. How to find and add presets in Tower Fantasy? Phew. That list was prohibited. Tons of amazing custom pages from players who are fans of anime, video game, and movies. If you want to check out pages and pages of presets, make sure you go to the appearance hall. When you enter the game, click on presets. It should take you to your character customize. Only there, character on the icon called lobby, and now you are in the appearance hall that will show you all the popular and new presets. In order to add presets to your game, find the preset you want and click on the picture, then click copy character ID. You will need to import the appearance and that's it. If you want to find out about our fantasy content, be sure to check out our guides section here at Kai CH and we talk about upcoming current gaming titles. Thank you guys for watching. There is the top 10 best character presets in Tau Fantasy. Leave a like and subscribe and comment down below on what else video we should do. And thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.